take, leave him in. That'll help you line everything up. Stator ring goes on now. Take top now, though. Top goes top now. Okay. There you go. Oh, Top's right top. Here. There's a top and a bottom of this stator ring, y'all. And then all I use is welding rods to keep everything lined up so we don't kink that gasket as we push on here, and that's probably overkill. Doesn't necessarily have to be done. And that'll push in. Just push her in straight. There you go. Now it's set. It's in there. All right. So right up here, I've written top. I don't know if you can tell. And right down there, I marked bottom because there's a half moon on the back side, so the oil drains out the back end. That's a stator ring. Stator ring is stationary. That forms the back side of the labyrinth seal. Now we're putting Loctite. Make sure there's a, good, a bunch of Loctite on those. Loctite on these little six millimeter bolts. Put them all in by hand. Get them all started because we don't want to push the stator ring in cattywampus. We'll put all six of these in and while we're doing it we will continue to spill it in the quill shaft and there will be a very small gap between the stator ring and the quill shaft and that creates a pressure, a negative or a positive pressure so the oil doesn't come out of the machine. Stator ring, quill flange, and quill shaft. Again, this is a stator ring, labyrinth seal 7900.